What's up, my people, and welcome to the S95 Power Channel. Today, um, a little something special, you know. This is my first official car meet for the S95 Power Channel. Now, I came down here to Georgia and kind of put a social media blast out kind of at the last second, just saying that I was coming down and I was gonna be at a certain place and just telling people to come through and um, bring you S95 Mustang. So I was fortunate enough to have um, a nice turnout for, you know, a last second event. Um, I was um, blessed to have my man Greg at 99 Turbo underscore Ghost to um, allow me to host this event. This, this is Viper, you probably know about his uh, Mustang Week award winning New Edge. Uh, he has a, he actually has two new edges. He has a white convertible new edge and he has a hard top red new edge. He's also working on a Fox Body 2 for Mustang Week. Blue Oval Media was kind enough to come through. Coyote and a GT500. So small turnout, but we'll go over some of the cars that are here and leave a comment and tell me what you think. All right, what's up my people? I'm here with my man, Sean. He was kind enough to come through for our little SN95 power meet. So Sean, what do you have here? It's a 95 GTE, phone stock, 5 -0. Now, how long have you had this? Uh, about a year and a month. Yeah. So uh, what got you into Mustangs? I've grown up around them my whole life. Uh, when I was a little boy, my dad had 368s. And I just decided to get one of my own. Yeah. Now, what color is this? It's a light blue, two year color. Two year color. Yeah, these, I've, to be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever seen one in person. I've seen them online, but I've never seen them in person. So, your wheel setup, what, what's your wheel setup here? Uh, I got a 18 by 9 up front, the FDs, and then 18 by 10 to the rear. Now, what else do you have planned for this car? Not a whole lot, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Now you got it lowered a little bit. What kind of um, drop you have on this? Uh, two inch drop. Two inch drop. And what kind of um, exhaust work you have? Because it sounds nice when I heard it come in. It's a, it's a true dual cat in the league. You mind starting it up for us real quick? Great, Sean. What's your um, IG handle? You want to throw any social media out there? Uh, I got remembered my <laughs> uh, Clarkson 5676. Say that one more time. Clarkson 5676. Clarkson 5676. So we'll leave that down there. Make sure y'all go give him a follow and support what he's doing. So, hey, Sean, I appreciate your time, man. Thank like, you. I really appreciate you coming out. Thank you. All right, another one of my supporters is my man Jimmy right here. He's kind enough to come out and bring his beast of a two valve out here so jimmy tell me what you got all right basically what i have is a 
2000 Mustang GT with a Torque Tech Supercharger kit on it. Now, if you're new to the Mustang game, you might not have heard of what a Torque Tech is. So, explain to the people what a Torque Tech kit is. A like, Torque Tech is basically, as you can see, I got a blower from an 03 Cobra that it mounts on top of a two valve Mustang. Yeah. So, any blower from the Kitty Bell to the TBSs to the latest Gen 5 3.0 Whipple, I can bolt onto my car. Now, You've had this Torque Tech kit for how long? I've had this Torque Tech kit on my car since 2014. 2014. And before Torque Kit, the Torque Tech kit, what, what were you running? Was this stock car or what, what made you want to go to the Torque Tech kit, first of all? Okay, before I even got to knew what a Torque Tech kit was or knew about anything, it was a stock car full bolt on with nitrous. Yeah. It started off as a nitrous car. And basically, they call it baby crack baby because once you get it, <laughs> and you like, hey, I gotta feel it. And it basically just got to the point of I got tired of buying bottles, keep filling bottles. The car wasn't fun unless I was spraying nitrous. So I started looking for other alternatives. And nitrous was starting to become a thing in the past, and turbos and superchargers was moving forward. So I said, I'm gonna move forward with the times. And at the time, I grew up being a fan of the 03, 04 Cobra. I wanted that wine. Right. Everybody loved the wine. So when I saw that Torque Tech kit and they give me that wine, that's the route that I wanted to go. That's the route that you wanted to go. Now, this isn't just a stock block that you put on here, is it? Yes, stock block, man, forge internals. Stock block, forge internals. Yes. So you got a forge crank, forge rods, forge pistons. What else have you done to it? I took the stock heads, got them ported by my buddy Killian. Um, changed it from a five speed to a T56. Um, upgraded the rear into some 31 spline axles, a better chunk, and 373 gears. 373 gears. Now, what's the wheel setup on this? The wheel setup is the SVE ones, the um, the gold ones. It's uh, 18 by nine, 18 by 10 in the back. Wrap this on Summa Tumo tires. Now, if, if, if you don't have to say this if you, if you don't want to, but what's the fastest you've had this thing at the track? The fastest I had to the track was 1142 at 121 miles an hour. That's fast, people. Like, I know everybody looks at horsepower numbers only, but that's, that's quick for a streetcar, right? Correct. And, and so, like, the average thing, like 90% that you run into on this street, don't want no action with you, right? No, no Hellcat, no dog, no 392, <laughs> no RT, no Hellcat unless it's modded. Yeah. They gonna get that feeling certain when they pull on the street. Right. Definitely, definitely. So what's next with this car? Next with this car is the ultimate goal, which I already have, is sitting at home. I got the Gen 5 3.0 Whipple, which will be bolted on. And hopefully, 700 rear wheel horsepower in a two valve car to keep up with these modern day cars. Not, 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 not just keep up with them. But beat them. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Beat them. <laughs> so you're absolutely right. Hey, Jimmy, I appreciate you coming out here, man. I, I love the two valve setup. I love the Torque Tech. And, you know, I know we've uh, had a conversation about nitrous. I'm, I'm thinking about doing that for um, Kim's car. But. Like, even before you came, I kind of threw threw the idea out there of doing a Torque Tech kit on the car. And you, you kind of swam, you hear, for that, that Torque Tech life. I put it like this. He was to put that, the Torque Tech kit on that car, even with the stock bottom in, you can easily get away with 400 rear wheel hard files safe. Yeah. And you'll have that every time you touch the gas. You ain't got to worry about bottom pressure. You ain't even really got to worry about belt slip because you're not running 15, 20 pounds of boost. It'll be just enough to put you where you competitive, and it's a very fun car. Uh, speaking of boost, what's, what's your pulley setup on this? My pulley setup is a 276 upper and a six pound lower, Metco. Metco, great, man. Yes. Hey, man, I love the setup, beautiful car. And uh, you'll be down at my nationals? Oh, every year. Every year. Every year. Okay. Be down there. All right, man. Be down well, we'll see you down there this year. I appreciate it. Thank hey, you. appreciate your time, man. All right. Well, I was also blessed for my friend Damien to come out, and he brought 
a beautiful convertible new edge. Damien, you want to tell me a little bit about this car? You said it started off as an engine swap. Right. Okay. It started off as an engine swap. Uh, we ended up putting another motor, which is the same as a. Uh, it was the Mark One, right? You yeah, had the Mark. Mark you had the. Okay. Mark One. Mm -hmm. And uh, we swapped everything over uh, back to factory look. Uh, we changed out the uh, IRS suspension because. Got a better feel for a solid rear end. And what what gear is this? It's a uh, open one. It's funny because when you came in, I'm like, wow, this is he got a Terminator up in here, yeah. and it looks beautiful. But you you have Cobra bumper. You got the Cobra spoiler in the back. Cobra spoiler. It looks great. Like it's it's mint. It looks like off the showroom floor. Right, we want to keep everything pretty much stock, stock of building, and just change it up to the newer bumper, the new wing. And like the detail in this, like the the fasteners look great. The fasteners look like they came off the factory right. assembly line. Every bolt that came off went back to where it's supposed to go, pretty much. Yeah. Now I know you're a Fox body guy. Yeah, you know, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, you do appreciate these new edge Mustangs, oh yeah, right? Oh yeah. I, I'm, I'm a 23 and a half years in Riverside Ford and making Georgia, so I've been around and I've touched all these Fords that we have in here as far as engine combination. So I feel right at home with them, but my personal car is a 86 Fox 383, I mean 363. Yeah. With the TKX transmission. Now, I know you're used to the 363, but how does this four valve feel to you? Coming up here from making smooth. This one has the uh, five speed in it, and transmission is smooth through the gears. It's a really good daily driver, which I really like, which I'm thinking about getting me an SS95 car and just keep it as my. As it's your daily, car. yeah. And then my other car, it's just a little bit too aggressive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much your race car. Right. And you know, that's a good thing about these fourth generation Mustangs is you can still get them at a fairly good price and they make for great daily drivers. But hey, hey, Damien, I appreciate you coming out. I love the car. And okay. hopefully next time I see you, I'll get a chance to see that Fox body. Oh, yeah, hopefully we break it out. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. All right, so one of my favorite people, one of my supporters who's been encouraging me from day one, my man Mike, um, at Omega Motorsports. Omega Motorsports Garage. Any, what other uh, social media you got out there? I have uh, Muskrat Senior as well. Okay. So you, you kind of gave me a heads up that you was eyeballing this car right here. Yeah. So go ahead and tell the people what you got. So this is a 1997 Cobra, Mustang Cobra. Uh, it's been sitting for a little while. I've been watching it for a little while. Finally talk the guy into selling this place. Now, this is a bone stock Cobra, but there's something special about this car. Was was to well, to me, it's something special about it. How many miles is on this car? This car only has 19,000 original miles. 19,000 original miles. Yes. And if you look at the engine bay, I mean, you'll see some oxidation because yeah, that's that's normal. But you don't see any kind of oil. Look at the valve covers, the plenum, the wires, the rubber. The original tape and rubber that's on it, it's all good. This is like, almost like a, a new old stock is what we used to call it. <laughs> so how does it drive? She drives real good, real okay. good. I, I drove her last night for the first time and today, uh, I think my trip up here about 45 minutes. Bro, I, I put a little extra, extra little leg in it. Stretched out a little bit. Stretched out a little bit. She was ready though. What is this thing going to be for you? This is going to be more of a. I don't want to say daily drive. I'm not going to drive it every day, but it'll be more of a that I'll drive more than my my Fox that I have. My Fox yeah. has a whole lot more power, and so I won't drive it every day. But this one, I can get in it and ride. I can even let my wife drive it. It's a stick, but my wife drives a stick as well. So we're, we're just going to have fun in this one. 
you know that's a great thing because you know you have like your, your high horsepower toy but now you have this fourth generation Mustang which you're you're not new to SN95 platform but you have this one now and you can use it as you know a show car to get you from Mustang week to wherever you want to go or if you want to build it you can build it now if you're going to change anything on this car what are you going to change well, I'm going to do some internal stuff on it that you won't necessarily see just by looking at it. Like, I'm going to put some gears in it. I'm probably 373 gear. And I'll put it, I'll put some exhaust on it. Probably the boiler attack. I like the way they sound. Oh, I love those, man. That's, that's like the go-to sound for any kind of modular motor is yeah. those exhausts. It is. It is. But Other this than is... that, I won't do a whole lot to it. Um, just kind of keep it clean, looking original, and just have fun with it. Now, is this something you're going to try to flip or are you going to hold on to it? I think I'm going to hold on to this one. I think it's going to be the next, like the Fox bodies are now. Absolutely. I think this is going to be the next hard to find. It's going to be worth even more as it gets a little bit older. Especially <laughs> since you bought it with only 1,900 miles on it too. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put a lot of miles on it either. <laughs> hey, my, hey, man, I just want to say I appreciate your support, man. You, you've been like... A big supporter of the channel, you know, big supporter of, for me and Kim ever since I can remember. Yeah. I, I appreciate it, man. And say your um, your Instagram and your social media again. And, you know, y'all please do me a favor and support this man because he's been supporting us for the longest. Appreciate it, man. My Instagram, uh, Musrat Senior, M U S R A T S R. That's for my Fox. My uh, uh, other Instagram is for my race team, OMG Racing, which is Omega Motorsports Garage. Both of those on Instagram. I also have YouTube, Omega Motorsports Garage as well. So check me out. All right, what's the next big event for you? Um, I'm not sure. Right now, I'm in, the, I'm in the mode of looking at the calendar and figuring out what events I can do and can't yeah. do. So this is the first of the year, uh, I'm just sitting down with the calendar, look at all the events that are going on and prioritize it, which ones I have to make sure I make and which ones I will if nothing else, you know, I got going on. But I'm just in a prioritizer right now, so I hadn't decided. But before the end of this month, I'll have my whole calendar for the year set on which shows I'm gonna go to. Like, like Mustang Week and Myrtle Beach is a definite. That's, that's, that's a must. <laughs> that's priority run. Yeah. Uh, the other one, which is here local, when, uh, when Ken puts his together for Bleed, Blue, Bleed Ford Blue Fest, uh, that will be the, the next prize. So those two, then I'll kind of work my way down. From there. Definitely. Hey, Mike, man, I appreciate your support. All right, man. Thanks. Take it easy. So first of all, first off, let me just say, like none of this would be possible without my man Greg right here. Like Greg has been like, not, not just a supporter for me in this, he has been a friend, he's encouraged me, and he's somebody that, you know, no matter what's going on, I can talk to. And I just wanna say I appreciate you, man. Like, um, Kim talks highly of you all the time. And, and she just knows how um, important you are, how much of a friend you are for me. Just even outside this um, car stuff. So, you know, he was kind enough to allow this to happen. Without him, we wouldn't have this SN95 power meet. And, you know, it, it just really started off as, you know, us communicating with each other on social media. And it just kind of turned into, you know, somebody who's going to be a lifelong friend to me. So, hey man, even though you got the Viper back there, I'm still gonna put you, I'm still gonna put it, <laughs> I'm still gonna put it on, on the channel. Good, good. Uh, but 
Hey man, like I said, man, I, I appreciate you. And, you know, I can't wait to see some of the things that you got um, coming down the pipeline. I know the ghosts, you know, we're gonna have that raid for Mustang week, but I know you got something brewing for ponies in the Smoky. You know, I'm not gonna put the cat out the bag on that one, but you know, if you go follow his uh, social media, 99 turbo underscore ghost, you can kind of get a, a sneak peek of what's going on. So, hey man, again, I appreciate you. And I appreciate all the people that was here, came out today. Hey, before I get out of here, y'all, I just want to shout out my man, Anthony, right here, who who was a gracious host, treated me like family. Go ahead and shout out to social media. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at foreverjones24. Um, that's the only social media I do have and I'm on, or TikTok. Uh, I don't know my TikTok, but definitely find me on Instagram at foreverjones24. Hey man, I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Thank you for everything. You know, I didn't really do any videos on any of the um, the non SN95 powers, I mean, on none of the non SN95 stuff, but you know, my man um, Blue Over Media over there, he's over here someplace. If you want some content on this killer GT500, this Gen 5 Whipple GT over here, head over there to Ken's channel, Blue Over Media, check that out. But, you know, I'm, I'm very humbled for all these people to come out here at like a moment's, you know, I, I kind of threw this together at, at the last second. I was telling Greg, I was coming down here. I was going to meet up with some people to record. He was kind enough to open up this shop for me to, to just have this. So I appreciate all these people that are here and I appreciate y'all for supporting and watching the channel. So tell a couple of people, subscribe to the channel. I'm not going to subscriber bash you, but just rock with us and watch these videos, click those ads. Hey, I appreciate your time and God bless.